All right, welcome to day two of our fiscal unit plan. This is the walkthrough video. All right, government spending. Day one, we talked about government revenues. Where do they get their money from? Day two, government spending. What do they spend their money on? So why don't you ask your students just to start? Right, what do you think? What, what do you think of these programs? What does the government spend the most money on? Okay, we got defense, national defense, you know, the army, that sort of stuff, health insurance, social security, or interest on the national debt. And we'll circle back to this at the end. So on day one, we looked at government revenue through the lens of tax myths or misconception. Again, we're going to try to make this thing exciting by looking at some controversial topics. Does the government spend too much? Do they spend too much on defense? Is the debt too high? Again, we're not going to take a stand. We're just going to try to provide some nuance, some way of looking at this and as we go through these questions, we're basically going to get to all the material we need to get to on government spending, just like with the tax myths, we hopefully covered lots of different topics on the revenue side. Where does the government get their money from? <clears throat> because in general, these two days, you know, as normally presented are pretty dry and boring. Look, here's where they get their money. Here's where they spend it on. Okay. So trying to inject a little interest into it. All right. So first of all, this is the spending by the federal government. We put the states there. So we're looking at, you know, almost $10 trillion a year. Fun fact, if you took all the billionaires in the U.S., took all their money, it would be less than what the federal government spends, okay, in one year. All right, again, just to give you a sense of the scale, the sheer scale of that spending. It's just an incredible amount of money. So our first controversial question that we're going to ask, okay, do they spend too much? Does the government spend too much? Now, there are different ways of looking at it, but first, let's just look at the figure. Let's just see what it looks like over time. Again, everything here is going to be scaled by GDP, so the size of the economy. So this is how much does the government spend relative to the rest of the economy? Again, we have these interactive graphs where students can guess. And again, like the tax revenues, you can see it's pretty constant over time. So there's actually, it's not like spending has really increased. Now it has increased here. Okay, and this is smoothed a bit. As we get to the actual data, we will see that we have that COVID spike. So we get to the actual data. There was a spike during, uh, during and after COVID, but by now we're sort of back to where it has been historically, you know, basically since the 80s. Okay, you have us run up during the Cold War, but it's basically stayed pretty constant. Um, and like revenue, it's really influenced a lot by, you know, you know, things beyond just the day-to-day -day government does this, government does that. Okay. So we we see this big run up in spending uh during the uh during the financial crisis. Okay. And part of this is just because part of that is the economy got a lot smaller. And so spending as a percentage of GDP is going to go up. And we see, you know, the government response to COVID, that was a massive uh, expenditure. Okay. But generally it's pretty constant over time. All right. So that's what it looks like over time. So there hasn't been this like huge increase at the federal level. This is federal spending. Um, okay. What does it look like relative to other countries? So here we tell the students, go to the IMF website, pick some countries and let's see what it looks like, you know, relative to those other countries. And again, you can find countries that spend more typically like Western European countries, Northern European countries, Canada spends more. Uh, and there are countries that spend, you know, less as a percentage of GDP. Okay. So they're encouraged to do this and record it in their student activity sheet. Okay. So again, we're trying to provide some nuance. Does the government spend too much? Two ways of looking at this. How does it look like over time? And what does it look like relative to other countries? Okay. So if you're against government spending, you say, well, a lot of the spending is very wasteful. There's not a lot of oversight. It's not really, there's not a lot of checks and balances. Hey, you're spending on this program. Is the program actually doing what you think it does? And maybe these dollars could be better spent by other people. If you like government spending, go say, hey, we need this to reduce inequality. It goes to low-income households, a lot of the spending, the transfers. Um, the programs, as we'll see in a second, the programs the government spends money on, like the big programs, Social Security and Medicare, are fairly popular. Okay, again, we're not taking a stand. We're just giving you both sides of the particular argument. Okay, so let's look at what the government spends their money on. So social security, this is money to old people. 
Health, this includes Medicare, which is health insurance that you get after 65, and Medicaid, which is health insurance for low-income households. Uh, defense spending, spending on the military, unemployment, welfare, other relief. So this is, again, going to low-income households. We got interest on the debt. So the government has borrowed money. They have to pay some of it back. Veterans benefits. Okay, and I got to get this down to... I got to get this down to... Let's see here. Yes. Uh, all right, there we go. I got. I, I had to get to 100. Oh, 75. Okay, so here's what they actually spend their money on. And we can see the bulk of it actually goes to Social Security and various health-related programs. This is, again, like Medicare and Medicaid. So you can just see all what the government actually spends its money on. All right, here are the, here's the correct answers here. So we'll show you this is the correct break breakdown. Okay. All right. Mandatory versus discretionary spending. So mandatory spending is baked into um baked into law. So sorry, when we're talking about spending, you have to break it down into these two categories. So mandatory is like you have to do this. It's in a law that okay, if you turn 65, you're eligible for Medicare. So that Medicare spending can't really be changed easily. You know, you have to go and rewrite the laws. Discretionary spending can be adjusted year to year. All right. So our next controversial question is, do we spend too much on defense? All right. This is the this is always a hot button issue. All right. We're oh, why are we not spending on you know schools? We're spending all this money on the military, bombs and whatnot. So let's look at what the data actually looks like. All right, so actually, if we go back, you can see the proportion that is spent on defense is about 13%. And let's see what that looks like over time. Okay, so this is defense spending as a percent of GDP, so scaling it by the size of the economy. That 13% was of all government spending. How much goes to defense? This will be, all right, how much... As a percentage of our GDP, do we spend on so what what part of the economy is going to defense? What does that look like over time? And we can see the general decline in defense spending as a part of our economy as scaled by GDP. Okay, it's down to like less than five percent. So it's decreasing over time. Okay, here's a little more fine-grained view of it. Okay, and relative to other countries, what does it look like? All right, so there's some countries that spend more, Russia, Saudi Arabia. Um, obviously, Ukraine's in the middle of the war, so most of their GDP is going to defense. Okay, but we generally, we spend more as a percentage of our GDP. And just absolute numbers, since we have such a large economy, we're going to dwarf all the other countries. I should note the Chinese numbers are a bit suspect. I go into this in detail in the lesson plans. Um, there's a note about this. The Chinese number... It's probably a kind of vast underestimate. Um, and again, there's a little bit, there's a note on that in the uh, in the lesson plan if you're interested. Okay, defense spending, for and against. Okay, hey, the defense spending is important, stable world, you know, it's important to have a strong military. And if you're looking at it over time, it's actually gone down as a share of our GDP against, we should spend this money elsewhere. The military industrial complex is corrupt. All right, is the debt too high? Our last controversy. Now, again, as we go through these, we cover the big vocabulary that students need to know. So we cover discretionary versus mandatory. We covered the big programs. Okay, what is Social Security? What is Medicare? Now we're covering what is the difference between debt and deficit? Analogy, the deficit is like the water going into the bathtub. The debt is the stock, what is there? So, okay, the debt is how much do we owe? The deficit is how much is being added to it each year. This is a nice graph that kind of shows it. We run a deficit most years. We can see we recently ran very large deficits, um, like similar to World War II, the government spending to fight the war. Here's the government spending to fight COVID. So you can see the deficits. This These big deficits here are um, the financial crisis. Okay. And so, all right, that's what it looks like over time. Now, the issue with debt is you got to pay interest. You know, you borrowed a bunch of money, you got to pay interest on that. So what does that look like over time? It was really high in the 90s. So this is going to be, the interest payments are going to be a combination of how much do we owe and 
what is the current interest rate? So we can see, okay, we borrowed a bunch of money more recently in recent years, and those interest rates are going up. Oh, so this is starting to look concerning. If you're looking at our interest payments, again, this is all scaled by the size of the economy. All right, and let's look at that debt over time. So that was interest on the debt. What does that, what does just the government debt look like over time? Here, this is scaled by the size of the economy. So scaled by, you know, what is our debt to GDP ratio? All right, just gonna guess. And so we can see it is indeed increasing. So maybe we should be concerned about this. This gives you the more long picture. So basically our debt levels as a percentage of the overall economy, you know, are approaching World War II levels, okay? When we're fighting a literal world war, okay? All right, relative to other countries. Okay, so that's what our debt looks like over time. Again, we're gonna look at things over time and we're gonna compare to other countries. We've done that with each of these questions, okay? So we look, okay, what does the government spend? How does it look like over time? What does it look like relative to other countries? What do they spend on defense? And so on. Here we go with the debt over time or debt and then debt relative to other countries. Getting up there. Getting up there. So there are still a few countries that have higher debt as a percentage of GDP, but not many. All right. So we are we are getting very, very high levels of debt. OK, so should, should we be worried about this? OK, well, look, it looks pretty bad. That debt's going up. Those interest payments are going up. A lot of the big programs, Medicare, Social Security, as we get an older population, these are going to get more expensive. As we get more older people, people living longer, those things are going to get more expensive. The interest rates are going up and looking like they'll stay high for a while. So this is all, hey, we should be really worried about this. Okay, if you're not worried about it, maybe you're not worried about it because look, we had to spend a bunch in COVID. Okay, we're sort of, you know, unwinding that. So we're not, you know, we're, the spending levels are not as high as they were in COVID. Look, we still got a strong economy, especially after COVID. If you look at the US economy relative to the rest of the world, US economy recovered quite, uh, quite well compared to other developed economies. So hey, look, We'll figure this out. We're the U.S. Um, and hey, there are a few countries that still are worse than us. So again, you can make the case for and against here. You know, again, if you look at this graph, it's, it looks like it's pretty concerning. Okay. All right. Exit ticket. Going back to that first question. Do the students remember, you know, what does the U.S. spend the most money on? Okay. Social Security. Okay. Right now. All right. That's day two. We try to make it fun for everybody with all those interactive guessing games if you don't have the unit plan already you can click to it um or you can click here for the next video all right thanks again i'll see you in the next video